How to react to aggressive text messages with Here We Go Go. Defending yourself against aggressive and false accusations. Dealing with hateful words via text. To engage or ignore. When faced with aggressive attacks through false accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text, it can be difficult to know how to defend oneself. Some may choose to ignore and block all connection to these people, while others may feel the need to engage and defend themselves. But what is the best way to handle these situations? Ignoring and blocking may seem like the easiest solution, but it may not always be the most effective. In some cases, it may only fuel the attacker's anger and lead to further harassment. On the other hand, engaging with the attacker may also escalate the situation and lead to more hurtful comments. So, what is the solution? It is important to remember that people who barely know you and attack you with false accusations and hateful comments are often dealing with their own issues. They may be projecting their own insecurities onto you or trying to boost their own ego by putting others down. In these situations, it is best to remain neutral and clear-headed. Don't let their anger and judgment affect you. Instead, respond calmly and assertively, and set boundaries to protect yourself from further attacks. False accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text can be emotionally draining and challenging to deal with. It is essential to understand the situation to protect oneself from emotional abuse, defamation, and other negative consequences. False accusations can be defined as statements or allegations made without any evidence or proof. It can be challenging to identify false accusations, especially when they are disguised as genuine concerns or feedback. However, false accusations are usually inconsistent and lack credibility. Emotional abuse can be defined as a pattern of behavior that harms an individual's emotional well-being and sense of self-worth. It can take many forms, including name-calling, humiliation, and manipulation. Emotional abuse can have long-term effects on an individual's mental health and self-esteem. Understanding defamation defamation can be defined as a false statement that harms an individual's reputation. It can take two forms, libel and slander. Libel refers to written defamation, while slander refers to spoken defamation. Defamation can have severe consequences, including loss of employment, damage to reputation, and legal action. In conclusion, it is better to ignore and block all connection to individuals who aggressively attack you with false accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text. Psychological Impact and Dealing with Anger When someone attacks you with false accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text, it is natural to feel angry. It is important to acknowledge and validate your feelings of anger, but it is equally important to not let your anger control your actions. Responding with anger can escalate the situation and make it worse. Instead, take a step back and try to understand why the person is behaving this way. Often, people who attack others in this way are projecting their own insecurities onto others. They may be feeling rejected or hurt themselves and are lashing out as a way to cope with their own emotions. Being attacked in this way can also trigger feelings of shame. It is important to remember that the attacker's words are a reflection of them, not you. It is not your fault that they are behaving in this way. To cope with feelings of shame, practice self-compassion. Remind yourself of your own worth and that you do not deserve to be treated poorly. Attacks like these can also shake your confidence. It is important to remember that you are not defined by the words of others. To maintain confidence, focus on your strengths and accomplishments. Surround yourself with supportive people who lift you up. Practice self-care, such as exercise or meditation, to boost your mood and confidence. In conclusion, when dealing with attacks via text, it is better to ignore and block the attacker rather than engaging with them. Remember that their words are a reflection of them, not you. Defining Defamation Law Legal Implications Defamation is a legal term that refers to any statement that harms a person's reputation. Libel refers to written or published statements, while slander refers to spoken statements. In order for a statement to be considered defamatory, it must be false and it must harm a person's reputation. The statement must also be communicated to a third party. If these conditions are met, the person who made the statement can be held liable for defamation. If you have been the victim of defamation, you have the right to defend your reputation. 
You may be able to take legal action against the person who made the defamatory statement. In order to defend your rights, it is important to gather evidence of the defamatory statement. This may include screenshots of text messages or social media posts, as well as witness statements. If you decide to pursue legal action, it is important to work with a criminal defense attorney who has experience in defamation cases. Your attorney can help you understand your legal options and guide you through the legal process. It is also important to understand that defamation cases can be complex and time-consuming. It may take months or even years to resolve a defamation case, and there is no guarantee of a favorable outcome. In addition to pursuing legal action, you may also want to consider other ways to protect your reputation. This may include issuing a public statement or engaging in online reputation management. Overall, it is important to take defamation seriously and to take steps to protect your reputation. By understanding your legal rights and working with an experienced attorney, you can defend your reputation and hold those who engage in defamation accountable for their actions. Gathering Evidence The first step in defending yourself is to gather evidence. This can help you prove your innocence and counter any false accusations. Evidence can include screenshots of text messages, emails, or social media posts. It is important to ensure that the evidence is authentic and not manipulated. Communicating effectively. When communicating with the attacker, it is essential to remain calm and neutral. Responding with anger or aggression can escalate the situation. Instead, Try to communicate your side of the story in a clear and concise manner. Use factual information and avoid making exaggerated or false claims. It is also essential to set boundaries and let the attacker know that their behavior is unacceptable. Documenting all interactions can help you keep track of the situation and provide evidence if needed. Keep a record of all text messages, emails, and social media posts. If the attacker continues to harass you, it may be necessary to involve the authorities. Having a record of all interactions can help you make a strong case. In conclusion, defending yourself against aggressive attacks via text requires gathering evidence, communicating effectively, and documenting interactions. Keeping a record of all interactions can help you make a strong case if needed. Maintaining distance. The first step in dealing with an accuser is to maintain distance. It is essential to avoid engaging with them and not to respond to their messages. The accuser may be seeking attention or trying to provoke a reaction, so it is best to ignore them. Do not feed into their negativity or give them the satisfaction of a response. Blocking communication. Blocking communication is an effective way to deal with an accuser. It is essential to block them on all social media platforms and messaging apps. This will prevent them from contacting you and sending you any more negative messages. Blocking communication will also help you maintain your peace of mind and mental well-being. Reporting threats. If the accuser is making threats, it is crucial to report them to the relevant authorities. This could be the police, the social media platform, or the messaging app. Threats should never be taken lightly, and it is essential to take action to protect yourself. Reporting threats will also create a record of the incident, which may be useful in the future. In conclusion, when dealing with an accuser who aggressively attacks you with false accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text, it is best to maintain distance, block communication, and report threats. It is important to remember that you do not deserve to be treated in this way, and you have the right to protect yourself. Involving others. Engaging family support. When dealing with aggressive and hateful messages, involving family members can be a helpful step in defending oneself. It is important to choose family members who are supportive and can provide emotional support during this difficult time. Family members can also help in documenting the messages and providing evidence if the situation escalates. It is essential to keep all evidence in case it is needed for legal action in the future. Informing colleagues. If the messages are coming from a colleague, it is important to inform the Human Resources Department or a supervisor. Colleagues can also provide support and help document the messages. It is essential to keep any communication professional and to avoid any retaliation or unprofessional behavior. It is important to remember that any unprofessional behavior can be used against the victim in the future. If the messages are threatening or violent, it is important to contact law enforcement immediately. 
It is important to provide all evidence, including screenshots of the messages, to the authorities. It is essential to take any threat seriously and to take action to protect oneself. It is also important to remember that any false accusations or exaggerations can harm the victim's case and credibility. In conclusion, involving others can be a helpful step in defending oneself against aggressive and hateful messages. Family members can provide emotional support and help document the messages, colleagues can provide support and help document the messages, and law enforcement can provide protection and take action if necessary. Conclusion In conclusion, when faced with someone who aggressively attacks you with false accusations, hateful comments, and name-calling via text, it is important to prioritize your safety and well-being. Ignoring and blocking all connection to these people may be the best course of action, as engaging with them can often fuel their negative behavior and put you at risk. It is important to remember that people who barely know you do not have the right to degrade you, especially when rejected. Their behavior is a reflection of their own issues and insecurities, not a reflection of your worth or character. Silence can be a powerful tool in these situations, as it denies the aggressor the attention and reaction they seek. It is also important to avoid spreading rumors or engaging in similar negative behavior, as this only perpetuates the cycle of aggression. Ultimately, the best defense against these types of attacks is to remain confident and knowledgeable in your own worth and values. By refusing to engage with negativity and focusing on your own well-being, you can protect yourself from the harmful effects of others' words and actions. Frequently Asked Questions what are some effective ways to defend yourself against false accusations and hateful comments via text? One effective way to defend yourself against false accusations and hateful comments via text is to respond calmly and rationally. Avoid responding with anger or defensiveness, as this can escalate the situation. Stick to the facts and provide evidence if possible to refute the false accusations. It can also be helpful to set boundaries with the person such as letting them know that you will not tolerate abusive behavior. How can you protect yourself from emotional abuse and name-calling through text messages? To protect yourself from emotional abuse and name-calling through text messages, it is important to recognize the signs of abusive behavior and set boundaries with the person. This may include blocking their number or limiting contact with them. It can also be helpful to seek support from friends, family, or a therapist. Is it better to ignore or block someone who aggressively attacks you with false accusations and hateful comments via text? It depends on the situation. Ignoring the person may be effective if the behavior is not severe or threatening. However, if the behavior is persistent or threatening, it may be necessary to block the person and seek outside help, such as involving law enforcement or a legal professional. What are some ways to clear your name from false accusations made through text messages? One way to clear your name from false accusations made through text messages is to provide evidence or proof that the accusations are false. This may include screenshots of previous conversations or messages that contradict the false accusations. It can also be helpful to seek support from friends, family, or a legal professional. How do you defend yourself against false accusations in a relationship when they are made through text messages? Defending yourself against false accusations in a relationship when they are made through text messages can be challenging. It is important to communicate openly and honestly with your partner and provide evidence or proof that the accusations are false. It can also be helpful to seek support from a therapist or counselor. What are the legal options available to press charges against someone who makes false accusations and hateful comments through text messages? The legal options available to press charges against someone who makes false accusations and hateful comments through text messages may vary depending on the situation and location. It may be possible to pursue legal action for defamation, harassment, or cyberbullying. It is important to consult with a legal professional to determine the best course of action. Visit our blog at www.herewegogo.com Shop our stores at www beauty we go go command shop style.com slash shop slash here we go go find us on social media thanks for watching